The kuf is the letter of holiness. We're all familiar with the sentence, Be ye holy, for I am holy, says the Lord. And since God commands it, one, it must be important, and two, it must be possible, because God would never command something that was impossible. We can put two different emphases on this sentence. Be holy in your thoughts and actions, etc., because that is how I am. You are to be imitators of me. God cannot live with sin and worldliness. In other words, holiness is something we aspire to. We work our way towards a more holy life. The other emphasis is God imparts holiness to us because he is holy. Here, holiness is a gift of his grace. Both are true, of course. Regarding holiness as a gift, Christ and Christ alone can connect us to God and so impart to us the gift of holiness. By faith in Christ, the righteousness of God is given to me. In my spirit, I'm truly connected to him and am made holy, spiritually separated from this world, separation being the essence of holiness. But whilst this is all wonderfully true, my flesh is still connected by habits to this world and is at odds with God who is holy. I must aspire upwards like the upright of the kuf, which is ever aspiring upwards. To seek to bring my life into conformity with him. The order is important. The gift of holiness first, then the work of holiness second. I don't work in order to become sufficiently holy to make connection with God. I'm connected by grace and work to conform to holiness because I am connected. Now we can ask, what is the purpose of holiness? The purpose of holiness is to manifest God in this world. The world needs to see the glory of God and God wants his glory to be seen. Amen. All of creation groans for, for the revealing of the sons of God for this very reason. And Peter speaks of the sky rolling back and the glory being revealed. At present, the glory is obscured by the world, the flesh and the devil. When something or someone becomes holy, the obstacle is removed and the glory is seen. Paul said that we see in an obscured glass, but then face to face. It's the same idea. In other words, the purpose of holiness is transparency. One of the most unusual properties of the New Jerusalem is the presence of transparent gold. Revelation 21 verse 21. As I was thinking along these lines, I began to wonder if there was a connection between the kuf, holiness and transparency, and I think I found it. Shakuf means transparency. And right there you can see the kuf mentioned. Right there. There's the kuf component of the letter. So all we've got to deal with is the shin. So in Hebrew, as in English, often a word is truncated. We may say, for instance, bat and ball, instead of bat and ball. The word and becomes truncated and all we all we the, the sound we make is just the n sound or we say fish and chips fish and chips no one says fish and chips <laughs> and that's truncating the and hebrew has got for instance the word min min means from but if you want to say from somewhere you don't have to say min all the time you can knock the nun off and just add the mem to the beginning of the word so wherever you're coming from, you just add the mem there. So the mem does the work of the mem and the nun, just like our n does the work of and, three letters and. And so I'm thinking, if this was truncated, what could that mean? Well, shell means of. So you've got Yerushalayim Shel Zahav, which means Jerusalem of 
gold shell. So supposing that had been truncated, just a sh. If we say shakuf, shakuf, we say transparency, it's of the kuf. Transparency is identified with the kuf. It's of the kuf. Now let's think of something simple that becomes transparent, revealing something of the glory of God that was always there, but was previously obscured. A piece of leather taken from the hide of a cow is prepared and used for making the covers of a Bible. The leather has been consecrated to God and has become transparent. The transparency is evident according to our faith. An unbeliever can toss the book in a waste bin, but a believer can't do it. The holiness has been revealed. In the temple in Jerusalem, all of the consecrated articles were stamped with the letter Kuf to indicate holiness. The high priest wore a circlet with the words holy unto the Lord inscribed. As he served in the temple, he was transparent. God says to us, be ye holy, for I am holy. He's telling us that he wants us to become transparent. This is the product of being consecrated to him. Our lives become shop windows, so to speak, of the glory of God. When the New Testament speaks of being imitators of Jesus, it means the exact same thing. The world needs to see glory, the glory of God in Christ, and we are his body. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 1 verse 14. No one has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. John chapter 1 verse 18. Christ Jesus, in his transparency, revealed the glory. And the same passage in John says, and of his fullness have we all received, and grace for grace. John 1 verse 16. Shakuf, holiness, is transparency. And here's one final thought. Dedication to God makes us self-forgetful, and it's through self-forgetfulness that God's glory is revealed.